Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to TCM and more of tonight's lineup from the formidable British filmmaking team of Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. Up next, the picture that marked the beginning of their long and successful partnership. From 1939, this is The Spy in Black. Set during the First World War, The Spy in Black, released as U-Boat 29 in the U.S., stars Conrad Veidt as a German submarine commander who travels to the Orkney Islands off the coast of Scotland to obtain instructions from a pair of spies, all part of a larger plot to sink the British fleet. Powell and Pressburger made the bulk of their movies together as one entity, a production team known as The Archers, named for their production company. In this, their first time working together, they were each hired by the film's powerful producer, Alexander Corda. The story of The Spy in Black began as a novel by J. Storer Clouston. Director Michael Powell was a fan of the book, not the first draft of the screenplay, which Powell hated. He couldn't see it translating to the big screen. Powell was set to take his complaints directly to Alexander Corda, the producer who had given him the assignment, when Corda surprised him by introducing Powell to a new writer Corda had just brought in to revise the script a Hungarian screenwriter named Emmerich Pressburger. As soon as Pressburger started explaining his ideas for the adaptation, Powell's mind had been changed completely. I had worked with some good writers, Powell said later, but I had never met anything like this. The Spy in Black became a big hit in the process, giving birth to one of the most successful partnerships in British cinema. Over the next 33 years, Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger worked together on 24 films, but their most significant collaborations came between 1942 and 1957, when they were known as The Archers, the name of their production company. Powell officially handled the directing. They wrote together based on Pressburger stories, with Pressburger doing the bulk of the producing. For the films they produced under the name The Archers, their joint credit always read, produced, directed, and written by Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. This is their first film together, Each Man, a Hired Gun, from 1939, also with Valerie Hobson and Sebastian Shaw, The Spy in Black. The Spy in Black was the first of two movies Conrad Veidt made for Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. They collaborated again a year later for another wartime espionage film, Contraband. Going into production on The Spy in Black, Powell and Pressburger were excited to get the chance to work with Veidt, who had been one of the most important and notable stars in German films in the 1920s. In 1919, Veidt's performance as the sleepwalker in the cabinet of Dr. Caligari made him an international star and one of the leading figures in the German expressionist movement. But with the rise of the Nazi party, Conrad Veidt, whose wife was Jewish, was forced to flee Germany. He relocated to England first, finding a new home in British cinema, working with the likes of Michael Powell and Emmerich Pressburger. Then, in the early 1940s, Veidt moved once again, taking his talents to Hollywood, where, ironically, he was often cast as a Nazi, including his most memorable Hollywood role as Major Strasser in Casablanca. Ahead tonight, another wartime drama from Powell and Pressburger. From 1941, Leslie Howard and Laurence Olivier lead the way in the 49th parallel. Next on TCM, 49th parallel. Then, something always happens. And later, tortilla flat. When the chips are down, you can count on TCM.